Okay, so let's learn how to set up an automation for a new subscriber to your Wix website. Uh, new subscribers can be gathered just through like a sign up for my newsletter type of form, or um, it's really popular right now to be using something called a lead magnet or a freebie where you get a free download. I'm gonna show you an example where the sign up is both subscribing people to the newsletter, but also providing a download. Um, it's on a site that I'm about to launch. And so on that homepage, you see the form and all it asks for is your first name and your email. And that's to get your free mind mindfulness guide. So you would, your potential subscriber would enter their information, click I'm in. And then on the back end, it is set up to take them to a free download. Uh, but you also might want to follow up with that person to kind of start that communication and that relationship, check in on them, see how they're doing with that free guide, if they need any help, and um, just get to know them a little better. So to do that, you're going to use something called an automation, and you will obviously have your form installed onto your Wix website. So here you can see I'm on the Wix editor, the back end, um, I call this the front end of my of this particular Wix website, and I have the form that I was just showing you selected. So when you select the form, you are given some options. We're just gonna assume that you've already built out your form. So we're gonna go into our form settings to check on a few things that we'll need in order to set up our automation. One of the most important things for setting up your automation is making sure that you are connecting that automation to the correct form on your website. So that is where you'll wanna go into the form settings over here, look into the settings, and then double check what the name of that form is. <clears throat> Wix is automatically going to give your forms a name based on the template that you're using for it if you're building it from within the editor. So just be mindful that sometimes um, if you have more than one contact form or say you are copying an existing contact form or replacing it or something, the names on these forms can get kind of goofy. So it could be like subscriptions copy two or something. But you just want to make sure that you know the name of the form that you are creating the automation on. You can actually start your automation right here within the form settings by going down here to automations and then um, creating a thank you email. So this is a really common automation. It's so common that it is actually suggest one of the suggested ones. Um, if you go ahead and click create, what that will do is take you onto your site dashboard again and allow you to start building out that automation. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my editor. I'm gonna close the live site. And then we're just gonna look at what this looks like. So um, it's kind of a foolproof way to set up an automation on a form to kind of do that from within the editor because you know that this um, is kind of starting from the right place, but I will walk you through um, the specifics. So whatever you name your email, maybe if it is for a lead magnet, you call it the lead mag magnet thank you email. Um, nobody can see what this title is. So this isn't the title of your email, it's just the title for you to know what the automation is doing. So as specific as you wanna be there. And then the first thing you'll set up is the trigger. So you'll go into here, and we know that we wanna create an automated response when somebody submits a form. You can connect an automation to all sorts of different things on Wix. But this is specifically about um, communicating with new subscribers. So we selected Wix forms, and then we wanna trigger this every time a visitor submits a form. Now we get to get specific about what that means. So we can select any form on our site. So literally anytime anybody fills out a form, whether it's contact, subscribe, freebie, anything, they're gonna get this exact email. Or we can have it apply to a specific form. So in this case, we are setting up an automation for a very specific form. It's that homepage lead magnet subscription. And that's why we wanted to know the name of that form, which is just subscriptions. So you can see here an example of a copy um, subscriptions too, but the form that we're working with is called subscription. So we'll wanna go ahead and select that. You can choose sp like multiple um, forms. So say you have a few different 
subscribe forms on your website, maybe one in your footer, one on your contact page, whatever forms you want to trigger this email, make sure that those are selected. So that's the trigger, that's step one. And then you determine what happens when this trigger is pulled. And that is going to be the action. So in this case, what we want to do is send an email to the contacts. Uh, like you can set up a million different um, actions for a specific trigger, but this one is going to be an email. And then the next thing you want to do is go into your sender details. It'll automatically pull, um, you know, if you're the owner of the the website, it's going to pull the contact information you've already provided or from your Wix account. But if it if you want this to go somewhere else, you can change where it goes. You can also change how that name is formatted. And then the one thing is you do have to confirm the email. So if you are utilizing maybe an employee, like one of your employees or a team member, um, and they're kind of in charge of all of your email marketing, you just want to make sure that they're aware you're doing this so that you can get that confirmation code or that you have access to their email because you do have to confirm it. And then you'll create your email. So this is the email that goes out as the automation. You'll edit the template. It is very much like um, any kind of standard email builder. So MailChimp, constant contact. And it's the same email builder that Ascend uses for regular email marketing, which is technically something different than what these automations are. So go ahead and um, customize this email to look however you want. It is really simple, intuitive, drag and drop. I always tell my clients like Wix is basically, you know, this visual kind of tool and you can solve pretty much any problem by just clicking on what you want to work with. And it's going to pull up all of your options for that particular element. Um, one thing that I do get asked a lot is adding um, dynamic values. So that's when if somebody's giving you their first name, maybe in the thank you email, you want to say thank you, Brenda, <laughs> for signing up. Um, dynamic values are very easy to add. You will just go into your text wherever you want to add it and then go ahead and click over here on a dynamic value. Um, you do wanna make sure that the dynamic value you're choosing is one that is going to be provided from the form that you're connected to. So when I drag, or when I drop down this list, I see um, a lot of contact information, um, but this is actually an automatic email in response to a specific form where all I'm getting is their first name and their email. So I obviously don't have their zip code, their city, anything like that. So um, find the field from the form that you are setting up this automation for. In this case, it's the first name from that subscriptions form. Um, and then it would also be the same because all subscriptions are saved as the contact first name. So go ahead and add that. That's how you add a dynamic value. You can get your beautiful email all set up and then save it and it, it won't be live until you actually turn it on. Um, we'll see here that we have some more, after designing our email, we have some more options that we need to look at. So the last thing that you'll want to go into the settings for is the timing of this automation. So a lot of times, um, an automatic thank you email is triggered immediately after somebody signs up. Uh, that's a great option for especially a contact form. But if you want to kind of stagger communications with a new sign up, you can actually choose when this action is performed. So your option is to send it immediately or you can set a custom time. So you can do that however many days after somebody performs the action. And then the other important setting is to limit the fre frequency. So especially in the case of a freebie, um, oftentimes somebody will provide their information because they want to get that free asset and then they'll forget to download it or they won't bookmark it or something. And they have to go back on your website and they fill out the form again. So Wix isn't going to save a double contact for the same contact information as long as it's tied to the same email. But um, it would send this email out, you know, every time if it's set to don't limit. So what I like to do is to set it to once per contact. That way you're not going to be sending this email multiple times just in case somebody does use that form more than once. So 
these are important settings to take a look at once everything has been um, once you've looked at everything and it looks good you can um, oops I don't want to activate this yet I just want to save it well I'll activate it and then I'll turn it off you can create um, automations and then determine whether they're turned on or turned off so you'll see I just did this one I'm actually going to delete this because it was just a draft um, this is the real one you can see on Ascend, I have two free automations and that is with that Ascend branding. So say your branding was really important to you and you don't wanna have these kind of third-party logos on your communications, you would wanna upgrade your Ascend plan and remove that so that um, you're not sending emails with Ascend on them. Um, but you can see after you've created your automations, you can just toggle them on or off. If you want to send a test email, you can go back into your automation and that is going to be um, in the right next to the email template. So after you've got the design, say you want to take a look at what that looks like, you would go to preview and test and then you get to choose any email that you want to send it to by going up here to send a test email and then providing the email address. Um, dynamic values aren't going to show up in the test email, so I do always suggest testing out the automation on your actual website to make sure that it is functioning properly and just use kind of, I think most of us have a burner email, so just use a burner email to do that. Um, but that is your automations. If you're ever curious how to get to your automations from kind of outside of the actual editor, they are going to be here on the back end, what I call the back end of your Wix website in the dashboard. And they will be under customer management down here on the left and then in automations. So this is the whole automations portal. It gives you a lot of kind of suggested automations to accomplish different things like boosting your sales or staying in touch with clients. Um, and then to see the automations that you have installed you can click here on these three little dots and then go to my automations and that'll show you the ones that you have created. Um, but pretty simple, something that um, can kind of take you to that next level in terms of your business and communicating with your clients. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful.